St. Lucia's World Heritage Site has not been compromised. That is the assurance from the government of St. Lucia after concerns were raised over the erection of a private dwelling house at the base of the Pitons management area. Minister for Physical Planning and Parliamentary Representative for Soufre Fossejac, Honorable Herod Stanislas, issued a statement on Friday, 18th September 2020, clarifying the details of the development. Honorable Herod Stanislas, Minister for Physical Planning, states that in 2016, his department became aware that property within the Peters Management Area had been sold to a Canadian developer during the tenure of the previous administration. This came to light via an application submitted in September 2016 to the Development Control Authority, DCA, for a touristic proposal for an acre of the area with a concept that included a long list of amenities to be built. Today, a private dwelling house stands at this site located at the base of the Pitons, much to the concern of many citizens. The government of St. Lucia assures that it has upheld regulations for the site, even turning down the original plan of the Canadian developer. Honorable Stanislas explains. The technical staff at the DCA conducted an assessment and appraisal of the proposal and made a recommendation for rejection of the plans submitted by the developer. The staff of the ministry made these recommendations on the basis that the proposed development site falls within policy area one of the Pitons management area and according to the design guide of the limits of acceptable change study of 2013. Which means that our administration rejected the initial plans of the developer due to the fact that it was not in keeping with the rules which govern the area. The following year, the DCA responded favorably to a second proposal submitted by the same applicant which fell within the guidelines of the Pitons management area. The developer was granted approval in principle for land use and concept to construct a one-story single-family residential building on 2,846 square feet in the same area. This was a completely redesigned structure which the DCA advised had met the criteria of the LAC study, hence approval was granted for a structure which keeps to the guidelines and aesthetics of the area. The approved construction is in, area, is in an area which had already featured an estate house. I wish to make it clear that at all times, the DCA and the Ministry of Physical Planning have been monitoring this development to ensure it is in keeping with the guidelines. As regards to this property, at no time has the DCA approved any new development within the no-build zone of the Peters management area. Honorable Stanislas reassures the nation that the Department of Planning and the DCA has abided by the laws and rules governing the Pitons management area and at no time was any aspect of the development in question approved that would threaten St. Lucia's World Heritage Site designation.